Hello and welcome back friends. Uh, this week I wanted to do a little bit of a different kind of video. I wanted to talk a little bit more about like why I want to build this tiny house. So here I am with my notes. Right, so the first reason why I'm building this tiny house is because I want to create this um, control. I want to be able to know how much I'm spending money on heating and uh, electricity electricity that's uh, a difficult word like power my house basically instead of um, paying rent for someone else I wanna be more in control well overall everything that costs when living <laughs> uh, it never really made sense to me to buy for example like a flat in a from an apartment building because in Finland what you have to do is you have to take a loan like almost everywhere else in the world if you don't have money <laughs> you take a loan so you take a big loan for this apartment let's say you take a loan for 60,000 euro for a flat and then you buy the flat and then you well you own it but you have to pay for the bank the loan right so you will be paying the loan every month and then in Finland you have to pay this like um, I don't know what is it called in English you have to pay like this certain amount of money each month for the building like I, I understand where the money comes from it's like just like it could, it could include the internet and that they take care of the building like they take out trash and they shovel snow when it's winter and take 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 care of the roads and this sort of thing but anyway you have to pay like this money that is always the same no matter like if you use that service or not and again that brings me to the reason why i'm building this tiny house so i can control what i pay so it never really uh made sense to me to buy a flat and then you're staying still in one spot and then you're not so controlled with your money so you pay like 300 for the loan and 300 uh just for like the, the building like the company or for the building or something so that's a lot of money that i'm not in control of even if i eventually own the flat after like 20 years i paid off my loan i own the flat it's mine i would still have to pay maybe like 200 or 300 a month and it just didn't make sense to me why I would be paying this amount of money for someone else uh, to take care of things that necessarily I didn't choose or need. One of the reasons that I built the tiny house is that I can control that aspect of, uh, of living. I know if I put my tiny house somewhere I would still have to consider paying like, you know, that they take the trash out or oh, they take care of the roads, where the tiny house is, and all kind of these things. But I can like control that a lot more than I can in an apartment building. Uh, even if I'm talking about sustainable lifestyle, I won't necessarily need uh, a service to take out my trash because I can just um, limit the amount of um, waste I make in my life. So the waste I make it will be so small that I can just try with to the like the local um, like this big bin that they have like in the cities that makes more sense to me the second reason is that I started to really question how much space do I actually need the flat where I was living in the city was just way too big for me I didn't need that much space what I ended up happening was that I just I just filled it with furniture that I didn't really need just to feel cozy, you know? Feel like I enjoy more living in a smaller, cozier place where really I'm thinking like, what do I need um, space for and how much space do I actually need? I do have the opportunity to store some of my things in my parents' house. So, because I am a person who does crafts a lot. So in order to do all of those things that I want, and be a little bit more self-sufficient I do need to have space for that stuff which I do because I'm lucky to have my parents house for that the third topic would be um, minimalism 
For me, it's more like the idea of just really looking at my life and what do I feel that I need in my life, like what are the important things in life that I need to make space for. And while building this tiny house, I really needed to declutter all my stuff and really think about what do I want and what do I need and separate those two and then just bringing the stuff that I need to my tiny house but also the things that are important to me. I get attached to stuff, yes. I'm that kind of person who will carry some weird ass souvenirs from traveling and I just always uh, like to decorate my house. And I don't think there's nothing bad about it as long as I do it with a little bit of thinking like do you actually need this item or does it make me happy? It's my most like my question and well and nowadays I try to also focus is it like ethical and is it sustainable they always have a special place in my heart and in my house I don't think that looking at my space you would consider that I'm a minimalism at least not a typical one if certain items have value it doesn't mean we have to get rid of them to be a minimalistic that's what I've learned oh uh, so I've learned that, for example, if you are a reader and you like to read physical books and you want to be a minimalist, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that you have to get rid of your books. What are the things that are important to me? What are the things that bring joy to me and what I use? For example, art supplies. Same goes a little bit with the souvenirs that I bring from different countries. Like they they hold a value that it's not like replaceable. Like I'd rather have that item. And every time I look at it, it reminds me of this good time that I had and like friends and memories and they are important to me. When it comes to minimalism, of course, I have to get rid of some stuff. But the stuff that I get rid of will be something that I really don't need or they don't bring um, enough amount of happiness or joy to my life. So those are the things that I get rid of do have space for the things that do have value for me, that do bring joy to me. When you do this sort of declutter, it really actually like makes you think what are the things in life that are important? I keep saying that, but that's basically what minimalism is and how I understood what it is. You make space for the things that matter with stuff, with people, with decisions in life, with values in life. I want to build this tiny house because the value, the movement behind it, build tiny house building is important to me and it fits my lifestyle. So in a way that's minimalism for me. And it is very physically minimalism when I'm moving from such a bigger space to a small pace. The freedom of moving anywhere I want. Not technically everywhere. Uh, this house is not designed to be moved like every weekend or even every month or just generally it's not designed to move a lot. In the end it's designed to move a couple of times just so I have the ability to move a few times with this tiny house is uh, such a uh, relief and freedom for me. I am able to move and take my house with me. It's definitely one of the reasons why I'm building a tiny house on wheels. Number six. Wait, I actually need my notes. The experience of building. And I'm forever grateful for my dad who's been building this house with me and who's been planning this with me because he has many years of experience. We have built a lot of summer houses and my dad's been like working as a professional builder in different like uh, ships and buildings. One of the reasons why I decided to build this tiny house is because I wanted to build something. I wanted to build something with my own hands and design my own house. Like I've always dreamt, even from a little kid, that I could build my own house. That's been like a dream of mine. But the idea of the house being like really big, it just required so much planning and it would have required so much more money and, and, and time and resources that I just don't feel like I I have or like the idea of building like a big house doesn't really make sense to me at the moment. So this was like a really good experience of just learning how to build a house. Uh, it has to be livable throughout the whole year. And the seasons in Finland are the things that are making it tricky. Like it needs to be really warm when it gets minus 25 outside. 
all that process is just um, something that I really wanted to experience. That's one of the reasons why I'm building it with my dad myself rather than just ordering it. I know there's companies that would do it for me. I rather wanted to design it myself and build it myself than order it like ready. And also it was way more cheaper. It was like half cheaper to build myself than order it. And especially here with my parents farm when we have all the tools and we have all the space and we even had like so much material that I could just use that was just waiting to be used so I saved a lot of money when I built it myself. My last reason for building a tiny house for myself is the overall tiny house movement. Mm. Felt like I belong and like I felt like I found a group that I belong. It just seems to fit my lifestyle my values and my ideas and how I want to live my life and Having that support from other people who have done this already, I just really found an inspiration to do it myself. The first year before starting to build my own tiny house, I followed other people doing it. I got so inspired of how many possibilities there are and how much I can choose what I want in my tiny house by building it myself. The tiny house movement is still quite uh, tiny in Finland and I also felt like I want to be there doing this um, to perhaps to inspire other people for doing this. So the more there is people doing it in Finland, the more there is a chance other people doing it in Finland. So this tiny house movement can really create more possibilities for other people and younger people to build a house for themselves. And for the environment, it's it could be one of the solutions what we do, like instead of heating up and living in a big house that we don't really require the space necessarily to have an option to build something that is tinier just creating that life for myself and building this tiny house is i don't want to say the first step i think there's been a lot of steps before even building this tiny house but it's definitely uh, a big step for the di right direction where I want to go in life. Just kind of build the way that it's easier because I know all my struggles that I've been doing when building this tiny house with all the paperwork, with all the laws in Finland, with all the insurance, all these kind of things automatically get easier if a lot of people are doing it. Then they will have to change how, for example, you um, define a house in Finland. It needs to be changed in the future if more tiny houses come up. Overall an interest of mine, so it made sense that I'm building a tiny house as well, not just following from the side when everyone else is doing it. I definitely want to find other people who are interested in tiny house movement in Finland or in general anywhere in the world. I want to feel inspired by other people. I want to inspire other people. I'm excited about the tiny house movement in Finland. I'm excited about building my own tiny house and be a part of that community, be a part of that movement. Uh, yeah. I really hope you enjoyed this video and it answered some questions or at least maybe made it more clear like why I'm building this tiny house. I hope you got to know me as well a little bit better. If you want to follow more of my tiny house journey and my lifestyle, please describe my channel. Thank you, bye! Say hello! Taika, why do you want to live in a tiny house? Huh? Do you know why you want to live in a tiny house, do you? No clue. Okay. I think one of the reasons you want to live in a tiny house is that you get to live in a farm and run about. Yeah? Taika, irti. Okay, good girl. Fetch!